There might be trouble for Fernando Alonso. Lance Stroll is out to prove that he's worthy of being in Formula One, and he's not just there because of daddy's money. Formula One driver Damon Hill has suggested the approach that Lance should take. One that could be at the end of Alonso's career at Aston Martin. Follow along to find out more. Lance Stroll's commitment to the sport has been questioned over and over again, but yeah, many don't think that he deserves to be on the grid. They attribute it to the fact that his father owns the racing team and that he's just there because he can afford it. Stroll's father, Lawrence Stroll, is a billionaire businessman that's been heavily involved in his son's career, providing financial support and even purchasing the Racing Point team, which is now rebranded as Aston Martin. While having wealthy sponsors or family members has provided opportunities for young drivers like Lance Stroll, it has also led to accusations of nepotism and undermined the achievements of the driver. It's really important for drivers to prove their worth on the track and earn their place in the sport based on their skills and performance rather than their financial backing. Taking a closer look at Stroll's performance in the current form of the one season so far, he's had some impressive moments. He once stood out the season opener in Bahrain. Prior to preseason testing, Lance got involved in a cycling accident, a horrifying injury and displacement of the Canadian driver's right wrist, a fracture on his left wrist, a partial fracture on his left hand, and yet another fracture on his big right toe were all among the horrific injuries he has sustained, especially the one to his big toe. This meant that he couldn't take part in preseason testing, and his chances of competing in Bahrain were almost dashed. He had surgery 12 days before the race, but despite the setbacks, Lance worked hard to recover and was able to compete in the Bahrain Grand Prix. His determination and resilience were admirable and greatly hailed by many in the racing community, fans and fellow racers alike. Seeing Lance's determination to return to the track even after such a gruesome injury, it's safe to say that he deserves a spot on the grid and is not just some entitled brat who got there because daddy's money. Although he didn't win the race, Lance's return to the track was a testament to his unwavering spirit, one that Damon Hill spoke about in an interview in the F1 Nation podcast. Here's what Hill said. I think the question has been whether Lance has been 100% committed to this career in his mind. I get the sense that sometimes he's felt, I don't know if I want to be doing this right now. His comeback after the broken wrist thing was evidence that he wasn't going to let a setback deprive him of his opportunity to get his hands on a car and race it. So I think that's a pretty good indicator of his desire to compete. And that's where I think we're starting to see a little bit of that in Lance, you know? That this is a now a thing that he wants in his life. He wants to show that he can cut it at the very highest level in a sport like this, in Formula One. And I think that love of what you're doing is super important. Now let's take a look at his teammate. Fernando had a phenomenal start to the 2023 season, and it placed third in all three races. The Spaniard is 41 years old and is the oldest on the grid, with this being his 20th year in Formula One. But age is just a number to Fernando, and he seems to be proving that experience really does count when it comes to getting those podium finishes. The Spaniard remains one of the most talented and competitive drivers in the sport, consistently challenging for podium finishes and even race wins. And for this very reason, the third championship is well within his sights. He revealed this in an interview earlier in the season. I still think that a third of the championship is possible. I feel fast. I feel fit. I feel motivated. Obviously, I want to win more races, and I want to fight for championships in the future. I worked hard for that. And although it's difficult to have a guarantee of success in Formula One, everyone that sees me work and knows that I'm going to give it 100%. I will not give up that easily, so let's see if we can do it. I hate losing. I'm a very competitive person, so every Sunday when you're not winning, I can't wait for the next Sunday to have an opportunity to win again. Alonso has consistently been a top performer throughout his career. He's won two world championships, has already established himself as one of the greatest drivers in Formula One history, while Lanz is still a young driver with much to prove. Stroll has the potential to become a top driver in his own right and challenge even the best in the sport. Fernando pointed out this and has been a complimentary of Stroll since. Here's what he said. In Lance, the team has a driver who's super young, super talented, and has the possibility to be a world champion. To see him achieve that and have played a part in that, whether that's behind the wheel or not, will be special for me. He has the speed. He has the talent. He's shown it many times, especially in wet conditions. I remember Lance's pole position in Turkey and some of his other excellent performances in the wet. To perform at that level in difficult conditions, you gotta have a special feeling with the car. This mention of Stroll winning the pole at Istanbul, that's a fun sentence, in 2020 and dominating much of that race serves as a reminder of how high his Formula One peaks have been. In 2017, during his first season, he also placed a Williams on the front row on the podium. Having potential is key, but it's not all it takes to win races and be a world champion. Lance needs to step up his game, and Hill has recommended a course of action for Lance 
one that might spell Alonzo's professional demise. In the interview, Damon Hill mentioned that commitment is not just about showing up the races, but also about putting an effort to improve and develop as a driver. Lance needs to crave winning. Hill also acknowledged that Lance has some imp impressive performances and has shown potential in the sport, but he needs to be consistent with his performance. Hill, the 1996 world champion, explained what Stroll must do to advance his career and contend for victories and titles. Hill said, It has to be maintained, sustained over time. It's no good, just a blip, a one-off event. So, he'd have to make it his ambition this year. He'd have to set his goal as ending Fernando Alonso's career. Now, that sounds brutal, but that's what George Russell is trying to do against Lewis Hamilton. So, that's what Nico Hulkenberg is trying to do with Kevin Magnussen. You have to establish yourself as the undisputed king, number one in that team. And it won't be easy for Lance. He's up against one of the best drivers, and he's going to have to work hard to establish himself as a contender. Fernando is not only a great driver, but he's also a leader both on and off the track, and his experience and knowledge have been invaluable to the team. He's brought a wealth of technical expertise and a strong work ethic that's helped push the team forward. His relationship with Lance Stroll has also been positive with the two drivers working well together and pushing each other to improve. In Australia, team principal Mike Crack <laughs> was questioned about the developing bond between Alonso and the team. He replied, I think it was a confirmation, basically, of where he's been standing in the team. He brought a lot of energy and positiveness when he arrived. He's leading by example at all times. He's there very early, he's working very hard, and it is this lead by example that everybody just sees and grabs on and gives an extra level of motivation. I think the signing of the name was like a confirmation also for him that he really brought a lot into the team. Lance needs to be focused, dedicated, and willing to push himself against Alonso. Maybe then he'll have a real shot at becoming a true legend in the sport. Lance has shown what he really wants to be in this sport. Now he has to show his full potential and prove himself on the track. He's got to be brutal in his approach. If he adopts a strategy suggested by Hill, there's a lot of ways that could turn out. The first is that it might be detrimental to his relationship with Alonso, given Alonso's dramatic relationship with his former teammates. Second is that it could work out. Alonso seems sincere in his desire to help Lance become a world champion, so he might just do that. How do you think the rest of the season's gonna be for Lancey Poo? Will he step up and defeat Alonso? Tell us what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Unless you don't want to. In which case, I respect that. Kind of. <laughs> Bye for now.